One of the pieces I wrote in this book that, that made people angry, I made a lot of people angry in this book, and um, one of the pieces I wrote that made people the most angry is just a piece on why in, our, in a world where women are so successful, where male dominance is at its shakiest in terms of real um, political and economic measures, are so many women so drawn to fantasies of surrender or fantasies of um, powerlessness? Uh, and it was a particularly, you know, about why is Fifty Shades of Grey selling so many copies? Um, and I, I think one of the things that's interesting is that even though we have made all this progress, um, and even though feminism has accomplished uh, breathtaking amounts, our imaginations are unchanged in some ways, and that in a way that that you can't legislate what people fantasize about. You can't decide that something is good, um, but and you can't take aggression out of people's inner lives or, or fantasy lives. And, and in certain ways, um, the political language that we have is inadequate to describe certain complex, intimate situations. Um, and we, we like to use these crude political terms to describe things that are much more elusive and much more complicated and much more individual and that defy those simple readings. And, I, and, and so I wrote this piece to sort of investigate those really tricky questions.